Hello and welcome to the Eforum Talk Show. Our guest today is Rajan Amba, Vice President, Sales, Marketing and Customer Care, Tata Motors. Welcome to the show, Rajan. Thank you, Kanchan. It's a pleasure. Mr. Rajan, while inflation and joblessness are still affecting the consumer sentiments to some extent, but almost all car, car makers, they have been able to, you know, clock huge growth over the past few months. Even Tata Motors itself registered more than 50% growth in passenger vehicle sales in, in August, you know, compared to July. So how do you, you know, view this, you know, kind of conflict and how much growth you are expecting in this festive season? So I think it's not so much a conflict as much as um, the environmental situation post-COVID. Uh, I think the whole COVID situation when we were all locked up in our houses or in our resident or in our cities, et cetera, for long periods of time over two years, I think it was a time of introspection for all of us as, <laughs> as human beings in that sense. And I think uh, it, it fueled the need for private transportation so that you could protect yourself and your loved ones from exposure in, in public transportation because being exposed in public became the, uh, the, 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 the area that people were most afraid of, right? And that just kind of fueled that sentiment. And, and it so happened that during those periods, uh, there was a lot more saving because there was a lot less spending. And that kind of made the decision to, uh, for anybody who was not thinking of a car or for anybody who was having an older car, that just made the decision to move to a car or a newer car or a bigger car that, that much more easier. And I think it became the, that, that aspect of safety became the most, um, the number one most, uh, you know, on top of people's uh, bucket list of purchases to be done. I think we all realized that at that point in time, we had too many clothes, we didn't need more clothes. Right, uh, and I, I think consumer goods in terms of white goods went up as well because there was a lot more usage of the home appliances and a need for upgrade, etc. But I think that priorities kind of shifted, and that kind of elevated uh, the whole situation around the uh, automobile uh, buying. So, how much growth you are exactly expecting in this festive season, and what exactly are your festive marketing plans apart from the campaign on which we are going to talk about later? Yeah, I think, uh, Kanchamana, you know that we don't like to, you know, read any crystal ball on, on these kind of questions, but uh, the, I think it's suffice, two, two or three things I would say that, first of all, this is what I call the silly season or the funny season where auspicious dates play a very, very key role in moving huge amounts of product in those small windows of dates. And those dates are going to open up from 26th onwards. So it's only when we look back at the data points somewhere in the around the 10th of October, will we get a better perspective of how the season has gone. Having said that, I think it's sufficient to say that inquiries are very strong. Uh, bookings are also strong. There's sufficient interest. Uh, there's been a lot of new interventions and launches in the market uh, by everybody, including us. And I think that's been fueling the interest. And now it's just a question of that, you know, we're at that uh, tipping point or the last stage where uh, from the next few days, from the 25th, 26th, onwards to the 5th, there will be a huge amount of uh, uh, pressure on our retail partners, on our dealer partners, uh, because people will come on, on during that period and will want deliveries because they're auspicious, or will want booking and deliveries within the short periods, which is what we are preparing for uh, from, uh, 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 you know, uh, from uh, the inventory perspective as well as from a production uh, cycle perspective. Uh, so we are pretty much ready for this uh, and uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed as the signs are good, signs are positive, very positive. Uh, so your latest campaign around Durga Puja that is yet to be released uh, <clears throat> seems to be quite powerful and I feel that it conveys the message that generosity and kindness are at the core of our festivals. Uh, so I would like to know from you what is the whole idea behind this campaign on Durga Puja? You know, I just want to give a context to you and your and your viewers. Uh, I think, first of all, the campaign that we have done um, for Durga Puja is uh, is just been has been released just a few days back on the back of another campaign that we launched two weeks ago for Tamil Nadu, and I, and these are specific campaigns for 
uh, uh, for those uh, those those markets or those cities or that community or population because two years back when we embarked on our new forever uh, uh, initiative uh, which is if i would put it i would simply say it was about reinvention across the board in terms of car in terms of product in terms of the way we sell etc one of the things we realize is that there are many markets which are uh, which have a lot more potential for us where, where we are underserving the consumer and we may have and that's because we've had some challenges in the past on the brand and so on and so forth and we and 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 west bengal was one of those markets and tamil nadu was one of those markets among many other markets that we chose to focus on and two years back we started the initiative in west bengal by signing up prasanjit as our brand evangelist and at that point in time we we did a lot of work with him in more static media and it paid off very well where we saw uh, uh you know we closed the year with an average market share of 8% in west bengal and that helped us to build it up to 14% that we have uh, today uh, in west bengal in just just that one one year and of course prior to that it was it was much uh, prior to that 8% was much lower and with the confidence that we we built up uh, from last year looking at the way Uh, our brand has been, uh, or the business has been growing in West Bengal. We wanted to do something even a notch above that what we had been doing in the past. And um, our relationship with Prasenjit serves as a beautiful um, foundation. And of course, the 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 culture of Durga Puja and the nature of Durga Puja and the nature of the cons- Bengali consumer doing Durga Puja is wonderful fuel for the creative, uh, you know, juices of and minds of our uh, agency partners. and the whole, as you rightly pointed out it's largely durga puja is rightly about celebrate it's about the celebration of good over evil and one of the the the, the core of durga puja is about doing good and being good right and i think the 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 film that we put out there wonderfully uh, 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 leverages this this the sentiment and seamlessly integrates uh, doing good <laughs> using Uh, using the various aspects and features of 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 our cars to do good from a community perspective, uh, as the as the various instances in the in the commercial uh, uh, clearly highlight. Uh, I think suffice to say that the whole film, uh, from both the sound and uh, uh, music and and the and the uh, examples in that, the, uh, has been accepted extremely extremely well. Not just. in in west bengal but i think throughout the country it's a film that doesn't require translation which is why we have not translated it because very often we lose the essence and ethos when you have such beautiful such beautiful language as bengali and then you try and translate it into english you you're not going to get and you're going to probably insult a few people uh, by trying that so i think we we remained true to that uh, kept it pure and and it didn't it didn't require any translation honestly You know, do you have more such campaigns lined up for Diwali? Well, we we're running. We are also having a similar campaign for Tamil Nadu, which is not as I would say, which it's in a different vein because the challenges for us in Tamil Nadu are very different. That's a campaign that, uh, uh, again, beautifully done and shot and and scripted and visualized and uh, articulated uh, in the through the music and the and the words of the of the music there. Uh, but that's a little uh, quite different it is basically the celebration of the roots of the rich cultural roots and heritage of tamil nadu <clears throat> juxtaposed or or relating to the roots of um, uh, the the deep roots of uh, of uh, of of tatas in 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 the country and how while we are both we are both similar uh, we are also uh, an old in our roots we are also very progressive and when you see the film you'll see how the uh how we have looked at the consumer in tamil nadu today the younger consumer how while they are younger and they have newer age uh, ideas and thoughts and values they are also still uh, sticking to many parts of their culture uh, which are deep rooted in their psyche and and we and we are celebrating all of that uh, in that film <clears throat> as you mentioned that west bengal and maybe tamil nadu were underserved you know uh, till now so i would also like to know uh, which new markets and new categories you are targeting for growth at present apart I mean, from these two yeah well, I, i think there are 
there are about uh, there are 12 core markets for us i don't i can't disclose those details at this point in time we've been working on them for the last couple of years and as and when we have material like we have today to share with you then we will talk about that uh, we'd rather act first and then talk later uh, uh, I, I i would say so but it's something uh, uh, which we really looking forward to because one of the things that one has to realize as a marketeer is that there are regional nuances and there is such a richness of culture and opportunity uh, for brands like us uh, that we speak to people in in their language uh, close to, and you know very close to them as opposed to applying a cookie cutter approach where we have so called national campaigns right and i think both the puja film and the tamil nadu film kind of uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, i think validate uh, uh, validate what we're talking about and and we look forward to more such work and building our brand over the next few years this is not just a, you know a one time thing or an expectation that now magic will happen it's not something uh, that's not the way things work right but i think that certainly if we continue to put our head down put our nose to the ground and continue to work hard and 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 find those insights which which we can relate to our consumers uh, uh, at at you know at regional levels i think that uh, uh, there is uh, there is so much more for us to achieve so compared to the last two years uh, how much adex allocated for this festive season is it more compared to the last two years and if yes then can you please tell us in terms of percentage i, I think i would i would just say that it is substantially more than last year as a brand you know we've been growing uh, at a revenue level and at a unit level at, at as you're all aware even this year we're growing at about uh, 65% uh, year till date so you can well imagine that the uh, the company and the management is sparing no uh, no expenses to make sure that the work that has been done last year that we continue to build on that this is not this is not the time for us to be cutting down on these initiatives and efforts because there has been so much um, return for that investment so to speak uh, and so much love from the consumers uh, which has given us uh, you know the strong number 3 slot and occasionally uh, in a few periods even the number 2 slot uh, from a brand which 2 to 1/2 years ago was 5 or 6 or 7 in a very very competitive industry and environment so i think that we were as a company and as a management we all acknowledge that that uh, there are miles to go before we can rest and flatline those budgets yeah but how is your ev segment growing i mean what are your new targets and if you can you know give us its share in the total uh, car sales so ev is about 8% of our business uh, CNG is another 11%. So between these two uh, 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 alternate fuel options, we do 20% of our business. We have been hitting consistently now 4,000 units a month on the EV side. And I think it suffice to say that this year, by the end of this month, we will cross the last year's full number. So we are poised to more than, uh, more than double uh, our numbers. Uh, as far as the ev uh, business grows so in a growth in excess of 100% uh, should be expected from over last year at the current run rate about calendar year or financially 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 yeah. which of course I mean, it would also translate into the calendar year in, in that sense mm -hmm. now my last question after the death of cyrus mistri former chairman of tata group consumers as and the government's focus has again shifted to the safety of passenger cars are you planning to make any changes in the design that, that offers better safety uh, to the passengers also to, to the driver? I think, I think Kanchini are talking to the pioneer of safety in the automobile segment, if I may use that phrase. Um, I think, I think our cars in, a, in any survey or in any kind of article, will, you will know that we have the most number of cars with the uh, highest safety rating. So I think that we have well established that. I think the consumer has also acknowledged that. And I think they have rewarded us with that in terms of the business uh, and growth that we have achieved. So we're very much there. I think uh, a lot of it was started already by us 
and there's been a lot of initiative by the government to educate consumers on safety uh, through regulations as well. And we have always been either ahead of those regulations or have been one of the first to adopt to them uh, and welcome them. And, uh, and, and we will continue to do the same because safety is our mantra. We will be proactive on that front uh, as much as possible. And of course, uh, look forward to whatever new initiatives uh, that come down from the government as well and be the first to adopt, you know, get off the mark with that. Thank you so much, Rajan, for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you, Kanchan. Very nice speaking to all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.